Hello everyone, hello peeps, welcome back to another video on the Mac Ops channel. Today we're going through the next question, the next really hard question on the GCSE Maths Ed Excel paper for 2024 today. Early a few hours ago, if you want to see part one of this little recap on the paper, some hard questions, link is in the top right hand corner now. If you don't want to just watch that and just want to have a look at this question, that's what we're going to go through today. So let's get straight into it. Given that, and we've got three different equations here. Given that x plus y equals 8, 2 to the power of x equals 2 to the power of n over the cube root of 2, and 2 to the power of y equals the square root of 2 to the power of 5, work out the value of n. So that's what we're trying to do. So let's let's just look at the equations first, because this is a, it's a lot, isn't it? So here we can see we've got two variables, so that's going to be a little bit difficult, but here we've only got one. So let's have a look at the bottom equation first and see if we can solve that because that's going to be a little bit easier to solve. So I'm just going to rewrite it. 2 to the power of y equals the square root of 2 to the power of 5. So let's look at our index laws for the right hand side of this equation, right? If we have a square root of something, what's that going to mean? It means that number is raised to the power of a half. So we can say that 2 to the power of y equals 2 to the power of a half, which is the same as the square root of 2, and we raise that to the power of 5. Now, when we have brackets and indices like this, we should multiply the indices like so. Don't add them. People get confused all the time, but we're not going to today. So, 2 to the power of y equals 2 to the power of what is a half times 5. That's just going to equal 5 over 2, so let's just keep it as 5 over 2. And since both the bases are the same, we can equate the indices. There is a technical way to do that, but that's all you need to know at the moment. y equals 5 over 2. And then that is literally the value of y. But that's not what we're looking for, is it? We're looking for n. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the first equation we were given here. Since we know, right, that y equals 5 over 2. We can work out what x is. We just substitute y in. So x plus 5 over 2 equals 8. x equals 8 minus 5 over 2. So that means x equals, if I just write it like so, we get x equals 11 over 2. Okay? So we're given that x equals 11 over 2, what we can do is put the x into this equation. There's a lot of substitution and different equations in this question. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm just going to rewrite the whole equation once again, like so. And we're going to substitute our value for x over here into here, okay? So we're going to get 2 to the power of 11 over 2 equals 2 to the power of n over... And let's do this in one step. How are we going to rewrite the cube root of 2? So we saw how... If we've got a square root of 2, that's equal to 2 to the power of a half. The denominator tells us what kind of root it is. So here, since the denominator is 2, it's going to be a square root. So there's like a little imaginary 2 there. So if, for example, we've got a cube root, what is the denominator on the fraction going to be? It's going to be a third, isn't it? So we're going to write that as a third to the power of third, sorry. So 2 to the power of a third. But then, what what can we do now? We're going to remember another one of our index laws. Here we're dividing, right? So if we've got a division of index laws, so for example, if we've got, I'm going to use like the textbook example of index laws. If we've got a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n, that is the same as saying a to the power of m minus n, like so. All right, so we're going to do exactly that. So 2 to the power of 11 over 2 equals 2 to the power of, and here we've got n minus a third. And exactly the same thing as the um, this bit here. We're just going to equate the indices because the bases are the same. So we can say that 11 over 2 equals, where my cursor's gone, equals n minus a third. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we can literally just add a third to both sides. And then we're going to get 11 over 2 plus 1 third equals n. But then 
let's just do a little bit of addition. This is going to be 6 and 33 over 6 plus 2 over, not 3, 2 over 6 equals n. So therefore n equals 35 over 6. And that is our final answer for this question. Really nice question when you know what to do. But um, it can be a bit challenging. Because if we look at the original question, right, there's so much going on, especially like here and here there's just it's really complicated so make sure to read the caref question carefully and that is pretty much it for this video next video in this little series for the paper recap is going to be in the end card in the video just it's going to be in the end cards in the outro and i will see you next time in a previous video whenever don't forget to like subscribe share comment all the things that youtube people like to say and i'll see you next time goodbye